the Affordable Health Care Act. It passed Congress and it was signed into law in 2010. In fact, it protects people with pre-existing conditions from being refused coverage. It requires insurance companies to pay for preventative care. Cool. That sounds nice. What's the problem? Well, the big problem the GOP and others have with Obamacare is that it's a mandate. It requires both sick and healthy people to buy insurance. The costs are then spread across the board to keep prices affordable for those in lower income brackets. But that makes the cost of premiums and deductibles higher. And provider options and health insurance networks are now way more limited. Something to chew on, though. Data from the Kaiser Family Foundation is showing Americans are split down the middle. Most of us don't want to get rid of the law altogether. Why is that? Editorial side note here. We'll go on a limb and say it's probably because most people aren't flat out jerks who want to see 20 million Americans who now have health insurance lose it, including President-elect Donald Trump. Anyway, the Trump game plan, repeal and replace the health care law in parts. Right now, well, we have no clue what that looks like because the GOP and the president-elect haven't given us anything to see yet. But as of last night, Republicans moving forward anyway, passing a budget resolution. Budget resolution? Why? Okay, special maneuver, gimmick, whatever you want to call it. But calling this a budget bill means it won't have to face a filibuster. And the count of Congress right now shows Republicans don't have enough votes to stop a filibuster. There's too many Democrats. Now, before you cry dirty politics, just know Democrats did this exact same thing in 2010 to get the Affordable Care Act pushed through. So what happens now? OK, the House needs to pass a budget resolution. They might do that tomorrow. Then the House and Senate committees need to whip up this so-called budget resolution by January 27th. That bill will then be voted on. It needs 51 Senate votes to pass in order to get it to the desk of President-elect Donald Trump. Did you get all that? Yeah, I'm taking notes. You You're got making it? me smarter over here. Super, super. All right, one more thing to add to that. Obviously, since everybody's on the Hill now, some Republicans are saying they're a little bit concerned that there's going to be a repeal without a replacement. So we may see a little stalling here until that replacement, if they get one, comes aboard. Yay! Time will tell, and we will be watching and reporting. Thank